Thank you very much, Boris. We have taken our mandate to heart. We are going to talk about how you defend the problematic merger and whether you are an in-house counsel, an outside uh, member of a law firm, a member of an economic consulting firm, a participant in a government agency, you know a problematic merger when you see one. It is likely to involve significant overlaps in one or multiple product lines. It may or may not be reportable in a specific jurisdiction, but you know you are going to have to interact with the competition authorities in at least one and probably multiple jurisdictions throughout the world. You suspect at the end of the day you will be not entirely successful in persuading the reviewing competition agencies to let the merger conclude without any restrictions or without any limitations. What do you do under these circumstances to maximize the chance of success and accomplish the great bulk of the desired business objectives? To help us think through these topics, we have a, a panel that represents uh, people with significant involvement in these issues throughout the world. We are going to start with Milos Baruchewski from Bennett Jones in Toronto, who will give us an overview of some of the process and coordination issues that you should consider as you develop a strategy for approaching a problematic merger. Next, Paula Ramada, who is a partner with London Economics in London, is going to give a perspective from the economist's viewpoint, how the use of economists in a problematic merger can assist the chance of success. We are then going to focus specifically on how some of these issues are going to be addressed in the European Union context with Bernd Meyering, a partner at Linklaters in Brussels and Dusseldorf, talking about the EU perspective and EU issues in the merger context. And I'm going to finish with some short remarks on possible remedies highlighting a recent development in the United States, which is the emergence of behavioral remedies as a solution for problematic mergers. But with that, let's start with Milos.